Hello, Days for Lots fans. It's finally Friday, February 9th, and we are in February sweeps. Um, Alex gets his butt in a knot when he finds out that Brady showed up at a meeting with Teresa. She accidentally finds an engagement ring in his clothes. Meanwhile, Julie, Chad, and the kids, she's giving them a story that's a history, a bedtime story about the house and Grandma Alice and all everything. And then when they go to bed, someone breaks in the house. Oh, yes, they do. And we're going to see him in just a minute. I'm not sure who it is, but this is a strike by Clyde against Chad, I'm sure. Meanwhile, uh, Wendy, Tripp, and Ava are making amends, having a drink in the in the restaurant there without a clue of what's going on. Okay, so uh, Xander keeps pushing Teresa away, saying, I've got to go on this run. And she's like, geez. And she goes on the run, but he leaves his phone. And he gets a text from an unknown number, and it says, is it done? Hello, did he get blackmailed into doing something horrible? Somebody did something horrible, for sure, for sure. Okay, so um, <clears throat> Lucas sneaks down to get something to eat. Harris comes in and catches him, and he is furious. They take him back up to the room and uh, tell him, you have got to stay here. And we can tell them goodbye right now. Okay, so here we go. He's on the pier. Harris is on the pier thinking he's meeting Ava, and he said, what are you? And somebody shot him. Yes, they did. They come back. We see his shoes. At the same time, somebody goes in the restaurant, pow, pow, to Kate and Lucas to survive. Meanwhile, the third dude or the same dude doing the third deed sets the Horton house on fire with Chad, Julie, the kids, and Doug inside. That's a wrap.